Okay, so now that we have this index page, it would be really great if we could click on our notes and then go to the show page to see the contents of each note. And to do that, we're going to have to introduce a router. And for that, we're going to be using a package called React Router DOM. So React Router leverages React's component system to allow you to declaratively construct a routing system within your app. And to do that, you need to wrap your entire app in a router tag. And then where your routes pages will appear, you use a route tag or a route component to tell React Router where your content should appear. So in this example, we have a basic navigation structure, and then we have our routes after that, and they're all wrapped in a router. So if we look in the example implementation here, we can click on home, we can click on the about, and we can click on topics. And then each one can delve further down into the hierarchy that's been defined. So for instance, this topics page has some sub routes which declare the sub pages within it. So we have pages for components and rendering and, and etc. Okay, so back in our code, we can now import the features from React Router that we need to use. So we'll import browser router and route. React Router also supports um, native and server-side routing. So for those cases, there are other types of router which we could use. But since we're just in the browser, we can just import the browser router component and wrap our main app with that. And no configuration is needed at this point. The default settings for browser router tell the app to use the push state APIs rather than using hashes. So now we have browser router, we can, instead of directly importing our index page, we can replace that. And we'll add in a route component here. And we'll tell it to exactly match a given path, which will be our home page, so forward slash. And we'll give it a component. Now we have two options here. We could either give it a component class type, so I could add index page. And that will in turn tell the routes to instantiate an index page and render it. But if we do that, you'll see an error comes up because now our index page no longer has the correct notes property. So to fix that, we'll instead give this component a function. And we'll paste back in our index page tag and which has the notes property given to it. And we'll also expand the props which have been given to this function. So now anytime we match this forward slash path, index page will render with the notes from our app component and everything should work right. Back to the browser and there we go. We see our list of notes again. So now we need to add a new page which we'll call show.js and that will import React again. And much like our index page, this will be a class called show page, which extends from React component. Set of here will be a render function. And for now, we'll have a simple div. And to keep things tidy, we'll use the ES6 destructuring syntax to extract note from our props. So we'll need to pass in a note when we use this page component. And so we'll have a header with our note title. And we'll add our note body here as well. Great. That's what we need to do right now to display our note. Back in our app, we can import our show page. And we can add a new route. This too will require an exact path matching. And it'll be notes. And we'll give our URL a parameter called ID. Now we'll need to implement component prop. And inside of that, 
And once again, we'll add the function syntax to send properties to our page. We'll give it the default props. And now we need to extract a note from our app state that matches the one that's been requested in the URL. And to do that, we can do state.notes. And to get the ID out, we will call into the props that have been given to this function. And there's a particular prop called match. And this object contains information about how the path matched the URL. So to get the params out of our match object, we just um, access params and get the ID out. And that should be it. And quickly test this by going to the URL. You can type in notes and one. And there we go, there we see our first note. We change that to two, we see our second note. Great. But I want to be able to click on our notes to get to them, so just typing in the URL. So to do that, we can go back to our note list component. Here we'll have to import a special component called link from your crowded DOM. And what this component does is it basically replaces the anchor tag for any URLs that navigate within our application. So inside of this note rendering function, we can add link and then give it a property called two. And our two property will be a string interpolation. So we can go forward slash notes, give that our notes ID. And we have to close the link. Now if we go back to our browser, our notes are now linked and they take us to the appropriate page. Excellent. Now, once we're at a note page, there's no easy way to go back to our homepage without clicking on the back button or using the back button on our mouse. So now we'll add a new component called the navbar. And what this component will do is give us a tasteful navbar across the top of the page with a link back to the home page. It'll also give us an opportunity to add a button to create a new note. So we'll also need to import link from React Router instead of our render function. We can use a nav tag. We'll give it a class of navbar. We'll add an h1 and then we'll add a link which will route to home page. And let's call it React Notes. And while we're here, let's add another div. We'll call that navbar buttons. And that will be a link to forward slash new. And this will be a link which will go to our create page, which we'll implement later on. So now back in our app, we can import our navbar. We'll just insert the navbar above the routes. We now have our navbar. It's not styled yet, but we'll get to that. And we can now click back to our homepage. As you can see, we only had to edit one file to add a global navbar to our entire app because everything that happens outside the navbar is handled by React Router. But the navbar itself is rendered every time. So we can go to any note and still have access to our nav and still have access to the new note button. And right now I'll quickly paste in some styles for our site. And going back, things are looking a little bit nicer now. We have a header, and our links are looking a bit better. And one more thing, we'll add a quick div wrapper around our routes. For the class I've called content. And there, things look a little bit better. 